Friends, I am sad. Minecraft 1.20 has introduced two adorable new mobs, and I don't have either of them yet. And while many others are making homes for these creatures, here I am all alone. But today, all of that is changing. And to welcome home our very first friends, I need to create a custom habitat with lush moss and protection from the elements. And you know what? I think I have the perfect place to do this. Oh, right behind this wall? is a giant cave down there that I think would work perfectly to make into a lush biome for our sniffer friends to live in. But that means carving out a little bit of space here in our mountain, which works actually very perfectly for me because on the other side of this mountain is a beautiful plains biome and a flower forest that I want to build in in a future project. Now, I will say one thing, it's going to be a little bit difficult um, to make this proper because you see where I want to come out on the other side is like over that direction. So instead of doing just a straight tunnel, we actually have to do a curved one. here to the other side into the plains area. We have wings, we can just fly. So as you could tell, this is a decent sized plains that goes into a savanna, but that is a flower forest that we're definitely going to be making some flower farms in at some point very soon. But I have made a pretty decent tunnel. I'm sure that there is some more things that I need to do to shape it a little bit better. But we're gonna come back to this because first we need to go down and make this place safe. I have made some night vision potion. It's just gonna help you and I see down there, particularly you guys on YouTube. So we're gonna use that to go down there. And I have a whole bunch of torches on me that we will use as well to light it up. And oh my goodness, there's so many bad things down there. Now, it's definitely hard because I have night vision on to see like what's being lit up. Ooh, we should use um, this. Actually, that's amazing. Let's do that. This is like almost more scary because everything is bright. Despite it being like super dark down here. See? Like that guy. Oh gosh, that's a, that's a lot of mobs. We're gonna light this up, but we're not actually going to come in here right now. Ow. Mm -hmm. Come on, blow up, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, eventually we are gonna be taking down a bunch of these things because I don't really want them in the final build area. Oh, you know what? That was not bad at all. And now we have this thing uh, mostly lit up and it's time to clean it out and get it ready. So uh, my night vision just ran out. This is uh, what it looks like without the night vision. So we're gonna have to do quite a bit of lighting up down here. Now this is looking very pretty down there and a perfect habitat for our sniffers. I still feel like we need to do a little bit up here, maybe shaping this wall back so you can see a little bit more into the sniffers habitat down there. Yes, this is definitely a whole lot better adding in the leaves and the frog lights here up at the top. Now let's go finish the bottom. I think we just kind of make a path like this with with our mangrove roots and then we'll just fill in some decorations with the leaves. And now a few azalea leaves around here. Okay, I think that should be okay. 
hopefully none of the sniffers can actually get out there and it just gives a little bit of a border between here and there. With all of that done, it's time to go get our sniffer friends. I think we are going to head west and see if we can find some warm ocean. I honestly don't remember where there is any warm ocean. Actually, I changed my mind. We are going to head north because north, I know for sure there is a very large warm ocean. And here we have our warm ocean. Now, where is a warm ocean ruin? This is one right there. Oh, there's a geode right there too. Oh, that's really cool. None of this looks like suspicious. Oh, here we go. Here's some. That's a hoe. Assured. Another hoe. I guess on to the next one. Let's go see what this one has. Hi, sir. Please don't hit. Oh, gosh. I told you not to hit me, sir. That really hurts. Goodness gracious. Another shirt. Coal. Wow, these sniffer eggs are hard to find. Well, disappointingly, it does not look like there is any here as well. Oh my goodness, guys. We finally got one. Oh my goodness, that took forever. And now we have to go find another one. We have a sniffer egg. That is so cool. Hello, sir. Why you come? Oh, <gasps> guys, is this a sniffer egg? Oh my goodness, we have two. I know I said just one more. However, um, we're here now and I kind of want to just see what else is here. Then we'll head home and put our lovely sniffers to um, hatch. I was going to say to bed, but I don't really know if you can say to bed. We are back here at the sniffers enclosure and it is time to start the hatching process. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you place down a sniffer egg on moss, it takes like half the time to hatch than if you didn't. So good thing we got a lot of moss down here. What if we place one right there? We'll just like give a little bit of space between them. So maybe we'll place the other one right there and let the hatchings begin. Oh, there we go. We got number one. And I feel like number two should be hatching really soon here. Oh man, their sounds are adorable. Hey buddy, are you gonna come out too? I didn't think I put this one down that much longer after. Wow, he's taking a long time to hatch. Would you like a name? And since your buddy's not out yet, would you like to be Snuffles or Wiggles? I feel like Snuffles will be a good one for you. Here you go. Now let's see if Wiggles will come out. There we go. Oh my goodness. Hey Wiggles. Welcome to the world, bud. Now I do believe it takes like 20 minutes or more for them to actually grow into full adults. While I wait for that process to happen, I think let's go work on the decorating up in that tunnel between our forest area and the plains. So I've just seen a photo on Google of using extinguished campfires to create a abandoned railway. And I thought it looked pretty cool. So I think we can do that with this tunnel that we have going on. Now, of course the tunnel is curved, so it might look a little bit different, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Well, that looks like two lovely large sniffers and it is time to see if they will do their sniffing tasks and give me access to the new plant varieties. Come sniff down here, bud. There you go. Are you going to find something? And plop. There we go. Oh my goodness, he's finding something. Good job. Another torch flower seed. One for you. And one for you now. Go make it a baby, which is really an egg. 
Perfect. We got another egg. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Time for hatching. Well, despite getting distracted by our sniffer friends, I did complete the tunnel and it is now time to show you guys what I did. So here's the tunnel. As you can tell, I did take up all of the campfires. It just did not work having a curved pathway, but we've textured the walls a little bit with some cobblestone stairs and some andesite, a few regular stone stairs. And of course we got ourselves some azalea leaves and some flowering azalea leaves with these little kind of oak pillars. I really like how this has turned out and it is large enough that I can fly down it if I want to. Now this part did not end up in the time lapse but I did end up making a little bit better of a bridge here with some chains and a bit of an oak trap door on the top and we kept the glass here in the center so we can still look down and watch our sniffers as they wander around in their new home. But I'm loving this place and I mean, I don't know. It's the perfect habitat for these lovely sniffers down there. I have been breeding them up, so I don't even know how many we have now. We have like probably nine or so. My one problem is they keep trying to get into small spaces, especially when they're little. And I know I've lost at least one of them when they've grown up, which was very sad. Let's connect this area up with our magical tree over there. And with that, we have it all linked up with a beautiful path here, our lovely bridge, some rocky outcroppings here along the sides that are very magical with our amethyst shards or amethyst clusters. And then of course we have our custom little trees around here and it's looking gorgeous. I do think I would like to add in another custom tree or two with the cherry blossom leaves, but for now, this is looking amazing. And then you can walk directly here into our sniffer enclosure and watch them mill all the way around down there, collecting all the lovely things. I am so happy with everything that we were able to accomplish in today's episode, and I am so happy that we have friends like Snuffles and Wiggles. Now, if you'd like to join the community, just like Wiggles and Snuffles here, I have a community discord that you can join. The link is in the description. And if you're looking for a closer knit community, why not check out the links in my description? I do have a Patreon down there where you do get special access to discord channels for a smaller tight knit group of people to help and encourage one another in getting better at Minecraft building. Before you go, why not check out the video linked on the screen, YouTube and myself, I think you would really enjoy it.